Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. To walk in His way, January 22. The way of the Lord is strength to the upright, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. Proverbs 10.29 If from the beginning we had walked in the counsel of God, Thousands more would have been converted to the present truth. But many have made crooked paths with their feet. My brethren, make straight paths, lest the lame be turned out of the way. Let no one follow a crooked path that someone else has made. For thus, you would not only go astray yourself, but would make this crooked path plainer for someone else to follow. Determine that as for yourself, you will walk in the path of obedience. Know for a certainty that you are standing under the broad shield of omnipotence. Realize that the characteristics of Jehovah must be revealed in your life, and that in you a work must be accomplished that will mold your character after the divine similitude. Yield yourself to the guidance of Him who is the head over all. We are doing our work for the judgment. Let us be learners of Jesus. We need his guidance every moment. At every step, we should inquire, Is this the way of the Lord? Not, Is this the way of the man who is over me? We are to be concerned only as to whether we are walking in the way of the Lord. God will honor and uphold every true-hearted, earnest soul who is seeking to walk before him in the perfection of Christ's grace. He will never leave nor forsake one humble, trembling soul. Shall we believe that He will work in our hearts, that if we allow Him to do so, He will make us pure and holy by His rich grace, qualifying us to be laborers together with Him? Can we with keen, sanctified perception appreciate the strength of His promises and appropriate them, not because we are worthy, but because by living faith we claim the righteousness of Christ? There is nothing so great and powerful as God's love for those who are His children. 